We're in today with the GTX 1080. I'm gonna pair it up with this i7 4 gen. I think this video card is still capable, but theoretically the whole reason for this video card is to see how the temperature it is because last time I had a problem with this video card and it was overheating now I thought it would be just for the temperature but I realized this setup is kind of nice you know I i7 4 gen with a 1080 it was like the dream setup back in the days regardless today we're gonna see how it's rocking in a couple of games that I usually test them in SLI older games you know some older titles i'm just trying to bottleneck this uh, 1080 that's it this is the whole purpose today to try to overheat it <laughs> and bottleneck this 1080 or who's going to bottleneck this 1080 or this i7 hmm let's jump in and see i think this is one of those games that i need to see how it's running on 1080 because uh, i think it's gonna put this video card on its knees we are in the game with the low details and apparently i got 50 fps i'm not joking this is low details you understand Hmm. But uh, the only thing you need to know is that uh, this video card is put on his knees. Seriously, look at it. So I managed to make a profile to be around 60 and 80 degrees to kick in the fan. You can actually see the RPM going up, 1800 RPM. Hopefully it will just go up and down from there, but I think it will be okay. But regardless, on the temperature side, I think everything is okay with uh, with, with it. Because uh, I was testing the GPU and uh, I maxed out the fan like 80-90% uh, uh, from the power of the fan, you know. So um, the GPU was sitting really cool, you know. So now with 1900 RPM, it's quite decent, you know, to have 70 degrees. I'm not, I'm not gonna stress uh, the GPU. It's lagging. <laughs> I need a proper video card and I actually need some a good video card for this. Seriously. It's giving me, what, 30-40 um, FPS on average. Throwable big case. Oh, this is cool, you know, but the, the, the FPS on this one is like, what, 30-40 FPS on average. Those are not really good numbers, <laughs> if you're asking me. Um... On minimal, you get like, 12, what, 25 FPS? 25 FPS? <laughs> With a GTX 1080. I mean, the CPU has no problem. Look at it. 10, 20% load. The system RAM is barely in 5 gig of system RAM. Uh, GPU size, 2.2 gig of RAM. What do you expect? You know, I, I, I was expecting something more interesting, but uh, apparently there is nothing. You know, the core is just loaded. Uh, I've freaky have nothing on this seriously so let's test metro because uh, this is one of those games that i keep throwing slis and uh, crossfire to it and i want to see how the game is performing with uh, 1080 you know with 8 gig of vram no sli no crossfire no nothing just a big kick-ass powerful uh, gpu you know and uh, i think in in the settings it's set up to 1080p uh, very high so everything is put on maximum and uh, hopefully we get some decent fps interesting performance seriously so i got over 100 fps on um, on average and uh, kind of low minimals seriously eight on minimals and 35 on one percent this is not exactly what i was expecting seriously <laughs> Not the right number, but uh, it's doing a fantastic job. I um, can't expect more from a 1080 with this i7, seriously. But it's reaching a, a, a very interesting limit. Like, I'm seeing 95% on this GTX 1080 with this video card, and it's kind of weird. Memory allocated 1.6, I think 2 gig of VRAM is it's enough, but uh, I'm quite surprised that 94% of the core is loaded. You don't need VRAM here, you just need a core that is mega overclocked, seriously. But uh, yeah, can't wait to test other CPUs because apparently this one is uh, sleeping, you know. But I like uh, I like the game, you know. I like it's very consistent with, uh, with the entertainment, you know. Hence why it's, everybody's loving it because uh, it's awesome, you know. Plus SLI and Crossfire is liking this game. So hence why I came into the game to see how it's performing. I'm surprised that it's nearly choking the core. Seriously. Well done. Seriously, well done. Let's jump into GTA 4 and see how it's running. I think this game is going to show us some uh, interesting uh, performance from this uh, 1080. It's uh, 1080p maxed out. Let me show you what I'm talking about because uh, this is going to be interesting. So 1080p, very high. Everything is maxed out and... Uh, yeah, 
Let's see how it's running. So why is it lagging? Seriously, is it the CPU, the GPU? The GPU is not even loaded. But I'm 100% the CPU is doing the, the stress here. The CPU is having the problem. Now, if I max out the details, apparently, and the density, because look at the cars. It's full with cars, people, taxis around. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff happening in this world, seriously. And the CPU is reaching 63 degrees. Oh, whenever, when, when was the last time I seen the CPU being stressed so much? Well, in this case, you can actually see the core usage. If that core usage is bringing, uh, how should I say, the, the load that high, that means the threads are already maxed out. You know, so hence why this is a CPU demanding game. So GTA 4 with uh, the GTX 1080, apparently it's uh, it's working together. You know, but um, depending on the on the details. Actually, I'm actually surprised how it's working. Seriously, let's jump into Watch Dogs One. I remember having so many problems with the Crossfire and SLI in this game, and I was thinking, I, I want to see how this game is performing. Seriously, one, the CPU and the GPU. Uh, I don't even know what settings I have. I think uh, quality preset it's on ultra. Yes, and let's see how it's running. I remember having problems actually driving this car, so let's see how we're doing. 3.5 gig of VRAM allocated and 5 gig of system RAM used. I see the cores like bouncing up and down, you know, it passing, wow, 88% on one core. Okay, so the CPU has got a problem. If it's stuttering, so if the game is stuttering and it doesn't give me uh, good minimas, I think I'm gonna blame the CPU. I don't even know what's going on, seriously, why I'm chasing this guy, but I'm gonna go after him. I'm actually surprised how it's working, you know, the whole system CPU and GPU. I got like 40 FPS on, on minimas and 50 on 1%. This is this this is actually a fantastic performance, you know, from S. Uh, I'm surprised how I managed to put the profile on the GPU. 75 degrees, it's okay for this video card, considering it's only 2,000 RPM on it. It's very very quiet like this, you know, with the profile. So I will not change it for uh, for nothing because I like how it's working like this. Yeah, I really like it. I really like how it's uh, it's working. But uh, in this case, apparently the core is 95% and uh, we got uh, uh, we got the culprit in this situation why uh, the lag is here. 95% on on a video card like this, it's uh, clearly this is the problem. It's got a gig of VRAM, you know, this video card, but uh, when you have no 98% on the core load, there is no pro there is no um, how should I say uh, complaining, you know the core is bottlenecking so yeah i'm actually surprised you know i'm actually surprised that the whole system is working really nice like this you know the, you can see the course is like neatly at the end so i, I knew at the beginning that this i7 with this 1080 will be like a match made you know and uh, you can have a lot of fun because it's a generation setup this this computer so i really want to bring more video cards like this in order to to see how this uh, system is performing similar to this 1080 you know i want to bring a video card that can make the setup equal you know both of the gpu and the cpu are loaded equally 2080 ti should put 2080 ti with the cpu seriously <laughs> just for the memes i want to go in crisis one and see how the system is performing with the 1080 uh, i remember last time i was playing what sli or crossfire i don't even know what i was playing seriously but i do remember that i need to test it on uh, on this video card oh my, 200 fps <laughs> very high let's go Okay, so I get some really nice performance here. Um, 70, 74 degrees on the GPU. It's exactly what I was uh, uh, expecting from this because every single time I'm seeing that temperature, it's because I set up the temperature, the, the RPM on the GPU to, to stay quiet. If there is a chance that uh, I can get this video card even lower, there is, I think there is, you know, but I have to increase the temperature. Just move on the left on the MSI profile in order to keep it cooler to increase the RPM. But I like it how it's working around 2000 RPM and it's keeping the GPU nice and quiet. On the CPU side, apparently barely managed to load a couple of cores, barely 30, 40% on a couple of them. It's doing 
the CPU a fantastic job comparing it to GTA 4 or something like that, you know, where it was nearly maxed out. 130 FPS on average, I'll take it. 30 FPS on minimal, not that great, even though it's, it's, it's a crisis one, seriously, look at it. This is exactly what I was expecting, so I can't say nothing. I always had problems with the Syndicate, and I think it's just right to throw the system uh, in this game and see how it's performing. I had SLI and Crossfire, both of them, they were uh, <laughs> struggling with this game, you know, and uh, I think uh, we need to see how we are doing. Let me see, video, graphics, very high, very high. It's fantastic. 3 gig of VRAM from 8. So theoretically, if I want to play a game uh, like this, I need a system like this with uh, 8 gig of VRAM. Ooh, this is cool. This is not cool. This is fantastic. Awesome performance from this, uh, from this system, seriously. I can actually see the cores, and I'm guessing the threads are like maxed out because nearly the cores are maxed out. So the threads are like uh, uh, on the limit. The GPU core is on the limit, 2100 RPM on the core. Uh, it's keeping the GPU on 75. That's uh, how I put it, on, put it on the limit. And uh, exactly what I want, seriously. Exactly what I want from this uh, whole situation. On average, it gives you like 90 FPS, you know, with maximum on 161, but it just spikes. Look at it because of the core. I think if you lock it on 60 FPS with V-Sync, everything is perfect, you know. So maximum, uh, maximum core and maximum uh, cores on the CPU, maximum cores on the CPU gives you high FPS, but it gives you spikes everywhere, and it's not funny. Um, for instance, in order to get a better uh, experience. I think if you put it on video, display, V-Sync on. If you put it like this, I think the core is what? 50%, look at it. CPU is not used on maximum. The GPU is not used on maximum. Three gig of VRAM. Uh, GPU temperature is nice. <laughs> So yes, there is no complaining. I like how it's performing with VSync. It gives me exactly what I need. It keeps the GPU cool. It keeps the CPU under load, you know, and uh, that's it. VSync, it's the Assassin's Creed, the Syndicate's best friend, seriously, if you want to play uh, with a similar system like this. Ah, definitely, definitely. I want to I wanna see how Far Cry 4 uh, is working. I don't even know what settings I have, seriously. Quality settings, I think it's ultra set maximum. All right, 70 FPS. Ooh, this is some nice FPS, seriously, with this. It's doing a fantastic job. So it's offering me between 40, 50 and 60 FPS on uh, on average with this 1080, but it's on maximum details, so I can't complain. GPU core is maxed out, holding the core on uh, 74, 75 degrees with uh, 2.1 uh, 2100 RPM on, on the fans. Very quiet, if you're asking me, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, exactly what I was uh, expecting from this system. Maybe we can do the same thing uh, if if it's video. Let's see if we can maybe put a V-Sync on. Let's see how it's doing. 60 FPS instead of actually maxing out with 70, 70, 80 FPS, blah, 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 blah. Look at it, 70, 80% low core load. <laughs> That's exactly what I need from this, you know? 70, 80% core load on the on, on this video card with 73 degrees, 2100 RPM. If I was using this system every single day, I will be playing games like this. That's it. Actually seeing this video card performing really well with that temperature, I'm actually excited, seriously. Because uh, last time I had so much problem, I think this is exactly what I was uh, looking for uh, from this video card, to see the temperature. But I didn't realize I managed to find a side quest on, uh, on this system with this 
1080 and this uh, i7 4 gen because theoretically those uh, components these components i7 and 4 10, 1080 they are like um, nearly the same generation and uh, having games nearly maxed out the the platform that i'm using for sli and crossfire and seeing this uh, combination nearly maxing it out i think it just shows you that how efficient some of the video cards are in some cases it's not worth having sli and crossfire it's worth having a 1080 like this so hence why i'm very happy that i managed to find my today uh, my side quest with this uh, 1080 to see games that i'm playing um on SLI and Crossfire maxed out with this 1080. I like the system, I like this video card and now it's not overheating and maybe in the future I can play more with this, maybe I can find other games and uh, beast it up. What do you think?